Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS STTM programming. In this video, we will see how to easily remember the variables in STTM LB domain. Let us say that a clinical trial is being conducted and this in this clinical trial, the examinations go under three different periods, the screening period and the treatment period and follow up period. And let's say within the treatment period, the subject has to come after one week of the initial treatment start and then after two weeks and after three weeks so let's say now the subject has arrived at the clinical investigator site at visit two and on th this visit the investigator is planning a hemoglobin test for that subject so the hemoglobin is generally abbreviated as hgb and the full name is hemoglobin so for in order to perform or get the value for this hemoglobin a sample has to be collected so a, it will be collected on a particular date so we need a variable to store this date value and then for this hemoglobin test to be collected the blood sample has to be collected and we need a variable to store the specimen that is collected and then when the result or the specimen is analyzed, we will get a result for this hemoglobin value. And then this result reported will have be a, will have a number and an associated units with this. So what happens is different laboratories, they generally report the uh, results in a unit in which it is a standard in the local scope. But that result that is reported may not be a standard unit. Say for example, in case of hemoglobin, the units can be reported in terms of gram per deciliter or gram per liter. So there will be a standard unit for every test. So for that, we will have two different kinds of result numbers. They are original result and the standard results. So we have value and units. So we have original result value and standard result value, original result unit and standard result units. And again for each lab test result there will be a normal range so the normal range again will be in terms of original result units and also the standard result units standard and original result units so for each normal range so when what we are talking about normal range is so there will be a lower bound or lower limit and upper limit so similarly for this we will have a lower limit and then an upper limit for normal range in terms of original result units so now we have identified some of the regularly used concepts let's now identify the sgtm variables that will be used to store this information so we said we, the subject is participating in a clinical trial so we need a identification number for each clinical trial so that will be stored in a variable called study id so and who is participating in this clinical trial there can be multiple subjects who are participating in a clinical trial but in order to identify a specific subject so we need a variable called u subject id u s u b j id so which stands for unique subject identifier so we store the information related to subject in u subject id variable and then so if for each data set the in type of information that is being collected is put in a variable named domain so we will have a domain variable created in lb and we put the value of lb in this variable indicating that when someone opens the data set they will clearly know that the information contained in this data set belongs to laboratory results and then we have this short name for our test so where do we store this so we store this in a variable named lb is the standard prefix for all the majority of the variables in lab domain and then the test cd is the short name for our laboratory test so this information hgb will be stored in a variable called lb test cd and then the full form or the full name of the test that is being performed is stored in a variable called lb 
test. So now let us come to the date values. So we have a variable called lb dtc which is for capturing the date or time of sample collected. So we store this value in a variable called lb dtc. So we have a variable called lb spec to store the type of specimen that is collected to perform this test. And then now let us come to the results. So we have seen that the result can be in terms of standard and original. So and similarly the units will be in original or standard. So the standard prefix here is lb and for original we use this two letter or as this is related to result we use this three letter res for to capture or they indicate that this is the result in original result format for lb domain so similarly for standard result we have this variable called lb st so before that let us see this one so the standard result will have two variants one is character and the second one is numeric so the character result will be stored in lb st stands for standard res for result c for character and here for numeric standard result lb st r e s n so this has these components lb st for standard res for result n for numeric so c for character similarly for units so we have a variable called lb o r r e s u for units so laboratory original result unit and then standard result units so the name of the variable that will be used is lb st for standard res for result unit so lb standard result unit so the normal range will also be in terms of original and standard result values so the lower limit and upper limit will be there in terms of both standard result normal range and uh, original result so the lower uh, range for the lower limit for uh, standard result units is stored in a variable called lb st nr is for normal lo is for low so we need to store the lower limit value for standard result normal range in a variable called lb st nr low similarly for upper limit for standard result units is lb st nr hi the name of the variable would be lb st nr hi for similarly for this one only thing is st would be replaced with or lb or nr low similarly for upper limit lb or nr and hi so once we know the result we can compare this with our limits and try to identify whether it is falling within the normal ranges or not and report whether it is on the lower less than the lower limit or greater than the upper limit and we store that information in a variable called lb nr ind so lab normal range indicator so we have two more variables that we can use so we have seen that within the treatment phase or treatment period the subject will have more than or three visits here in this case so this information is stored in a variable called visit and an upper level grouping of visit is our what is the treatment what is the period of the clinical trial so this is stored in a variable called epoch 
so let us now try to identify how many number of variables we have identified or this thing so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 so we have now we will be able to clearly or logically be able to remember all these 19 variables so i will add one more variable so in laboratory the test can be performed based on blood sample or urine sample or within blood sample the results can be based on hematology or which is related to blood or which is related to chemistry so we store that in a variable called lb cat so now we are now able to identify 20 variables which can be used in lb domain and we can easily remember this in a logical flow thank you for watching and keep learning